Hi everyone, I just wanted to let all of you know that a new version of the jewelry kit for Rhino that I've been working on is now available. Just like before, it comes in a free version and a paid version. The paid version has more gems, more materials, and more tools. Links to both versions will be in the description below the video. Before I go over what's new in the kit, I want to go over four important points. One, this kit was developed on a Windows computer in Rhino 6 and Rhino 7, so it should be considered a Windows-only kit for Rhino 6 and for Rhino 7. If you have a Macintosh or some other version of Rhino, please do not buy the paid version of the kit. Two, even if you have Windows with Rhino 6 or 7, I recommend that you get the free version first to make sure that it works on your computer and that you like it and that you can figure out how to use it. And then, if you want those extra models, materials, and tools, upgrade to the paid version. 3. If you bought the original kit, you can access the new files by logging into your account at cgtrader.com and clicking on Purchases. This will bring you to a list of previous purchases, and each one will have a download link. Find the one for the kit, and you can download the latest files. You don't need to purchase the kit again. 4. The way this kit is installed is completely different from how the original kit was installed. I plan on making a tutorial on how to install this kit, but if you don't want to wait for that, be sure to download the installer script, the installation guide, which is a PDF, and the zip file that is for your version of Rhino. You only need one of the zip files. If you have Rhino 6, then get the one for Rhino 6. If you have Rhino 7, then get the one for Rhino 7. And then just follow the installation guide step by step. When I originally released the kit last year, it was mostly just models and materials that you could import into your file. But over the last several months, I have developed a set of tools and a toolbar. There is also now a set of miscellaneous but useful objects which I call extras. Things like a bale, chains, common jump rings, a braid pattern, and a heart shape. I may put more things in there later, but that's what's in there now. In this video, I'm just going to give a brief overview of the tools in the toolbar. I will go into more detail in a future video that will be just about the tools. These blue icons are for Python scripts, and they all use dialog boxes. These green icons are for Grasshopper scripts, and they will open the Grasshopper interface. The gray icons are kit maintenance tools. All of these tools can also be accessed in the command line. Simply type WD to see a list of all of the kit's commands. The Python scripts start with WD1, and the Grasshopper scripts start with WD2. WD stands for web dunce, in case you're curious. Now I'm just going to demonstrate each tool. This is the Python Gem Loader. This is the ring sizing tool. And it has four different ring sizing systems. And just like with the original kit, there may be inaccuracies in the ring sizes, and that's fine if you're just following along with tutorials. But if you're using this kit in a production environment, if you will be producing real rings, you need to verify that the ring size is what you expect it to be. The dialog box displays the diameter in millimeters, and you can use that to verify the ring size. This tool loads in materials. This tool loads in extra objects. And this tool lets you create jump rings. You can either choose from standard jump rings or you can make a custom jump ring. And it lets you make circle jump rings and oval jump rings. Now we're on the Grasshopper tools, and this is the Grasshopper Gem Loader.
These next four tools let you place gems along a line, which you could then put on a ring using flow along curve. This one is for non-tapered gems, where all of the gems are the same size. This one is for tapered gems. This one is for gems where you want to control the overall shape using a second curve. And this one is for a list of specific gem sizes. Now these next three tools are for adding things to gems. So this one lets you add under bezels to gems. This one lets you add gallery rails to gems. And this one allows you to add cutters to gems. Next, we have the rope tool, which allows you to build a rope along a curve. It can be a closed curve or an open curve.
Then we have the grasshopper jump ring tool. And finally we have the doming tool or the dapping tool. This lets you round out shapes. It's meant to imitate what a jeweler does when they shape a sheet of metal using doming tools or dapping tools. The free kit doesn't have the jump ring tools, the gym list tool, the rope tool, or the doming tool. Okay, so that is just an overview of the tools. Like I said, I plan on making a more detailed video about the tools where I'll show how they are used in the future. Hopefully in the very near future. And speaking of that, if you already have a Twitter account or a Facebook account, you may want to follow me over on those platforms. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I hope to see all of you in future videos.